Hello and welcome back to Cookie and the Haydens and I'm car boot Chris and I'm at a boot sale again. It's Saturday morning and we're at Torbay car boot. I've not been here since the old penguin gate incident, if you ever saw that. We're going to see what we can find here and you can follow me around. Just have a look at the setting for this car boot. It is absolutely stunning. Right behind me is the boot sale. In a bit. So here we are at Torbay Car Boot. Not a million miles away from Torquay and Paynton. Uh, let's just check out some of the stalls. Here's something. What is it? It's. Yeah, build a bear, isn't it? How much is it? Yeah, build a bear. Batman build a bear car. She wanted five pound. Possibly a little bit steep. Um, yeah, I wasn't willing to risk it at five pound. So as usual, we're going to run some commentary throughout uh, this sort of little live footage of uh, the boot sale. Um, thanks for watching, people, as always. And if you stay tuned towards the end of the video, I'll show you everything that I picked up because some of it might not be captured on film. And um, what have we got here? A ton of Builder Bears. A dedicated Builder Bear stall. Bloody um, I did have a little scan. Typically, these kind of stalls, um, the bears are quite expensive. I didn't ask any prices. There was nothing that was kind of jumping out at me as being like really good bear so i just had a scan and then i walked and carried on past up to the next stalls i'm still not seeing anything major there as we walk past again mm -hmm. i would expect that she was asking top whack on those bears anyway now, after missing lots of trainers and shoes recently, you guys have pointed them out to me. I've been trying to keep my eyes open a bit more, but I won't show on these ones, mainly kids' shoes. I'm not sure the kids' shoes are the best things to go for. You'll probably tell me wrong. Now, this stall had some bagged um, cameras. There's a Sony camcorder there. How much are your packages? Uh, that's a thirty-five pound pen tax. Uh, thirty quid. Okay. That'll be a bit uh, radio, six pound. No, twenty quid. Okay. Weren't really sure. The prices were a little high for me to take a chance. So I hope you've been enjoying um, the film recommendations we've been given every time we do one of these voiceovers. Just something to do, really. I'm a film fan, and so, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed some of those recommendations. Now, I spotted some Heelys. What have you got on those? Fiverr. Fiverr. seen some other resellers picking these Heelys up so I decided to have a go on them although four pound um, maybe I paid a bit too much for them what do you reckon I think there's money in them there's definitely money in them Thank you. they were new and tagged as well so that's great nice one see you so I wonder what film recommendations I'm gonna give to you guys this week well stay tuned it's coming up shortly. Now I spotted something here. Can you see it? There we 
we go. A Bigfoot game. Do you know if all the bits are in it? Yeah, they are. Are they? How much is it? Quite unusual. I'd never seen one anyway. Had a little look, all the pieces were there it seemed. Uh, I'd look on the back of the box just to sort of check the image with the game laid out um, alongside what was actually in the box. I very rarely pick up board games. This one though, because I love Bigfoot the movie. There you go, movie link again. Bigfoot, maybe there's a recommendation. Go watch Bigfoot, that's great. But I felt like the price was a bit high on this. Now, having got home and checked out the prices, I dodged a bullet on this one. I can't believe it. The prices are rock bottom on these things. Just a few pounds. Okay, no worries. So I left it, I did actually make an offer there, but uh, no, I decided not to go with it and I am glad that I didn't. As usual, try and get a bit of hand sanitizer while we go round. Um, picking up lots of stuff, who knows what kind of germs there may be or viruses, as we know. Probably nothing, let's face it, probably nothing. So this is a mincer, it's a cast iron mincer. Some of these can go for decent money. Don't know about this one, but uh, I think it was three pound. Seem to have all the parts. Is that the price on it? Yeah. Three quid. Is it all the bits there? You've got some spare blades in there. Yeah, I've seen them in there now. Is that everything that's... Yeah, you've everything. Yeah, everything's all in order, isn't it? Yeah, mincer in it. So we did the deal at three pound. Hopefully that should be worth some money. Cheers, thanks, Cheers. mate. And on we go into the bagging system that you all love, and we move on now. Some electronics there. Look at those CB radios, or the one at the bottom certainly is. I'm not sure about the others. Is this one? Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, so I'll see you in a minute. Yeah, yeah. that's it. How much is a CB? Is it? 20. 20? Yeah, it's, it's missing. What do you call it? This. Oh, the receiver. Remote. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it for 15 if you want. So the chap was good enough to let me know that the handheld microphone receiver thing was missing. Uh, but who knows, maybe that was worth money anyway. I don't have the knowledge, um, so I left it. But um, here's a recommendation linked to the CB radio, and that is the film Frequency, featuring Dennis Quaid from the year 2000-ish, I think. What about your ashtrays? It's a cracking film. It's called Frequency, so go and watch that one and let me know what you think. Somewhere. Yeah, somewhere is Jack. Glass. What with these? If you would like USA something on it, you know the. I'll take those. Two fifty, yeah. did you say? Yeah. So those ashtrays looked interesting. They were from the '84 Olympics and also the Space Kennedy Center. So I picked those up at less than one pound each, and he also said that he had some tankards. 
some glass tankards that were also uh, from the 84 Olympics, so the same branding. That one, 4.50. So I took those as well. Is that it? Anything else like that? No. Have you got a change of a 20? So it's 4 So some really interesting um, house clearance stuff on this store. I've not finished yet. I'm going to have a really good look. It's like, you know, when you find something or a couple of things on a stall and then you start thinking, right, well, let's see what else there is. So that's pretty much what I did here. This camera is not worth much. Chris, put it down. Put it down and don't pick it up again. Thank you. How much have you got on your camera? How much? Three. Three. On the don't yeah, do it. Vintage ones, yeah. From old lady. No, from house clearance. Yeah. yeah. You say two on it. Oh crap! I'll grab it for you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. No worries. Yeah, three quid. Oh, go on then. Thank you very much. Ah. Uh, He's only gone and done it. He bought it. It's not worth much. The benefits of hindsight. Oh no, Chris, for God's sake, not another mincer. Stop it now. Don't buy another mincer. Two quid. Yeah. I'm clearing you out here. <laughs> I'll keep looking. Check on the boxes, they say, you know. Just remember, it's meant to get cheaper the more I buy. Yeah. <laughs> Two pounds is a good price. Yeah. No, it's fine, I'm only kidding. Yeah. You make money. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like the gong, but I don't know. It's different, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. From. It's tightening up a bit. I don't know, it's maybe a bit steep for me, a fiver. I don't know anything about them. Mike, you know about this, what, gums? It's chromed, isn't it? It's been chromed over a nickel plate. Three quid. So it's like, um, say, 40, like 40s. It's been replaced, the wire on it. Three quid. Adi. Kasha. <laughs> Three quid, I'll, I'll keep having a look, see what else you got. You're only, you're only going to get in trouble, aren't you? Have you got two? Oh. got two quid. Thank you, cheers, mate. She was going to let it go cheaper. No, more Wasn't expensive. Oh, oh, more. <laughs> oh, I thought she was saying, you know, let it go. You <laughs> five, it's five. Uh, so, <laughs> so she walked away and then you sold it. Yeah. Right. So here I was thinking that the, uh, the chap's wife actually wanted the item sold cheap to get rid of it when actually she wanted it full price for five pound and the the guy gave it me for three so i nearly caused uh, him to get in some, into some open, trouble okay. there some interesting i've stuff. got another item here that i'm eyeing up right. 
crack. It's, it's, it's a double Frank pack of playing cards. What do you want on that? Two. Two. You might think there's nothing in it, but Please actually, there be some money in those. Pretty much spending my whole allowance here today at this store. Crikey. I actually later found out that uh, one of these watches is actually the Harrison Lesser watch, which uh, turned out to be worth £6.2 million. Pounds. Solely for those of you who know about Only Fools and Horses. So you've had two great film recommendations so far. You've had the Bigfoot film, which is, I'm going to go with Harry and the Hendersons, just to make it clear which Bigfoot film we're talking about. And also Frequency with Dennis Quaid, two great, great films. Um, I'm also going to recommend to you the, one of the best, in fact, the best B-movie of all time, even better than Zombie. No, actually, not better than Zombievers. So maybe the second best B movie of all time. And that is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. You can thank me later. Go and watch it now. Actually, not now because we're in the middle of this video. So go and watch it in about 20 minutes time when this video is finished. We had a little peek in what was in this box and it turns out these are someone's wedding favours and they are matchsticks so imagine having that matchsticks as wedding favours that's unusual isn't it I can't quite that read wedding it, whose wedding it was yeah. unusual Matches his wedding favours. Seen it all. Maybe a big family of smokers. Yes. <laughs> so, a couple of interesting bits on this stall. I've actually seen um, a sealed portable CD player. Not very good make, really, to be honest. Oh, is that one? And what three pounds for it? But I think I did. Uh, well, I know I did no. because I'm here doing a voiceover. I did purchase this CD player for three pound. What have you got on your? Also, you can machine? see in the background there the coffee, the coffee machine. Twenty five. Do you know if it works or not? Yep, it works perfectly. It's all right if you got a garage, someone put in the reception. So. Yeah. Which I didn't end up buying in the end. Big, big, big <laughs> Does it basically just dispense hot water? Oh yeah, a little bit icy. We've gone into that. Oh, I've got icy pen on eBay. Yeah. We're just going to get rid of it now. Uh, I'll take that. So I took the CD I'll player. I was going to have a what think you, about 25? the machine. It probably you would have been worth it. Ten, have you? Well, I just didn't want that great big machine coming home, and Annabelle would have had a fit if I'd have How brought much that home. Because we literally have no space for it. No brand new. Uh, five. Right, I'll have a think on. Thanks for that. Do any of you suffer from arachnophobia? If so, turn away now. Got another good film, a good film link, arachnophobia. So I thought these glasses were quite interesting. These are whiskey glasses, like a metallic effect. Um, now I may well go back and pick them up and they may well be worth quite a lot of money so keep watching to find out exactly what those glasses were.
got some we can enjoy. Whilst I've been giving you guys lots of movie recommendations while we've been watching all these live uh, walkthroughs, um, you've also been commenting and giving me plenty of films to look at too. And I've had two recommendations from the last film that I took. Uh, one is the film Upgrade, which is on Netflix, which I'm going to try and find time to watch. So thank you for that. And the other one is a B-movie horror called Bad Taste, which sounds really interesting. So I'm probably gonna check that one out and uh, maybe I'll feed back in a future video, a future voiceover, let you know if it were any good. So that pretty much wraps up our walkabout at the car boot at Tor Bay. Um, so thanks for joining us. Now stay tuned because coming up right now, is everything that I picked up. And I actually picked up quite a lot. Some interesting stuff as well. Some really interesting stuff. So, thanks again. And we'll catch up on the voiceover next time. So, I think I might have actually bought the most eclectic mix of junk. <laughs> treasures that I've ever picked up and not a single plush in sight. Right, so back from the boot sale and um, let's just get straight into the items that we picked up. I got quite a lot, so we don't want to be here all day. Of course, you want to move on and get on to the next video. So uh, let's get cracking. So I picked up these two sort of real big sort of graphic novels. Um, I think they're kind of multi-novel books, so they've got numerous short stories inside. Um, these cost two pound each. I bought them on a bit of a whim. Wasn't really sure on the value. The guy in the store reckons that they were worth sort of 20 pound each. I think actually having checked, they might be worth around 15 to 20 pound each those. Now here's the first of many bloody minces. I've picked up this mincer. Now it goes like that and it goes like that. And you shove your meat in there and it minces it out. Um, I sold one, a brand new one recently for 25 quid. So it's kind of made me think about looking out for these. And today I think I bought three of the damn things. So I might be wrong, you might have to check the video, but I think that this one was £2 or £3. Um, and this particular make, it's Follows and Battle. And I think... I might be able to get about £20 for that one. Uh, here's the other two mincers. I've just fished them out of the bags. Um, these are both spongs. I don't think they're worth as much as the other one. Um, I think between them, I think that was I think that was £2 and that was £3. That, oh yeah, that one's definitely £3. Um, but not worth as much as the other one. So I think maybe 10 to 12 on each, maybe. Now, I ummed and ahmed over this one because I've had these um, Super 8 sort of cine cameras a few times. They really vary in value. Let's see if you can get that on screen. They really vary a lot on what they're worth. This one's a Holiday Metermatic and it's sold only in Dixons. Um, it's got all the nice cats. It's in real nice condition, actually. It's running, which is good. Um, I've not opened it up or anything. Right, I owned an ad, um, this, they wanted 10, I went back, it was A. Eventually I picked it up and it was six pound. And I'm thinking with this, it actually, because it's a decent sort of make, maybe 30 to 40 pound on this, maybe. Prices are all over the show. So I'm going off solds. I'm thinking 30 to 40, what do you reckon? Now, I've got some glassware, um, so I'll try and rattle through these reasonably quickly. Um, firstly, some ashtrays. I don't normally pick up ashtrays, to be honest with you, but these ones looked all right from a house clearance guy. Uh, this is Key West, Florida. Let me just make sure you can see. So that's Key West, Florida there. Um, maybe 10 to 15 pound on that, cost one pound. Um, and I've got these, I've got the Space, uh, Kennedy Space Centre, 
and I'm thinking maybe around £15 for that and that was also, well that was just under a pound. And then I've got two the same here which is the the games of the Olympiad, I don't know what the number is, uh, Los Angeles 1984, I've got two ashtrays, real nice condition. Um, they were just under £1 each as well. So maybe £15 each on those as well. So they're quite nice pickups. Um, also, something very similar to the ashtrays um, were these two tankards, also from the 1984 Olympics. Um, they're maybe worth sort of 10 to £12 each. They cost a pound each. And these ones are great. Um, I saw these. I didn't pick them up. I went back round again. I picked them up. The guy told me sort of a bit of history about them. They are vintage and these are whiskey or bourbon, whiskey or bourbon glasses. And they are snap-on, which is a mechanic sort of make. And these are actually designed, if you have a look at the design, they're designed to look like a bolt, you know, like a bolt that goes into maybe like your tires. Um, yeah, very, very unique. And this guy had had these for years. He used to be a mechanic. And I paid a pound each for them. They're kind of like silver metallic -y type colour. Pound each. And actually, I think that they're going to be worth, you know, as a three. I might do a two and a one. But maybe 30 to 40 pound on these, which would be great. So I've got another bag of stuff here. Um, let's have a look what we've got. Um, a Kodak Easy Share camera. I think this was £3, but it's not worth a huge amount. It comes with its case, but ew, maybe 10 to £12. I think I paid three for it. I need to test that though. Um, I also found this Shaw Savile Line um, pair of playing cards set and really nice actually brand new sealed it never been opened I bought as bought as a souvenir i expect on a trip or maybe brought back as a gift and these have never been opened so that's nice we do sort of sticking the edges down a bit here um two pound paid actually though i think that um they could even be worth sort of 20 to 25 pound, but again, the solds are all over the place, so it's really hard to tell. I'm just gonna have to pick my price and see what happens. I've never picked up a gong before, right? And I bought two today. There seem to be gongs and mincers galore. So there's this sort of chrome gong and um I'm thinking of keeping it because obviously while I'm up here working, I can hit that gong and Annabelle will make me a brew. So this was um, this was three pound, I think three pound. Very very hard to price it. Very hard. Couldn't find anything similar. I'm thinking about twenty ish. Um, I got this Technica sealed um, portable CD player. Not worth a lot. Cost me three. Maybe 10 to 12 on that. Now this is a nice item. The same store that I bought the Cine camera on is this Disney metal chrome hot plate sort of stand or kettle stand, hot plate, whatever you want to call it. Um, I paid a pound for it. Actually, could be worth around 25, that one. I picked that up because somebody had mentioned about power balls. Um, I've never even thought about picking them up in the past. Uh, it cost me £2, maybe worth 10 to 12 possibly. I also picked up a little Mr Bean um, keychain, which was 50p. I might actually just keep that myself. Don't know how much it's worth. It's probably not a lot. It's maybe 5 to £10, but I might hang it in the car. Now, here's the other gong. It does come with a stand, but I've got to assemble it. So I'm just going to show you as it is. Um, so another gong. That's more of a bell than a gong. I like the gong because it sounds more gongy. This was £3. Very hard to price it. There's so many of these gongy bell things. 
and um, I'm thinking around the £20 mark. Oh my god, if I was a scooter driver or rider, I would look like such a plonker with this on. But it's a Juventus retro vintage um, helmet. It's got a lot of wear. I mean, it doesn't look like it's been crashed, but it's got a lot of marks on it. So I need to give it a good old clean up. Um, but it's a real nice item. We wanted £18 for that. Um, we settled on 15 Very hard to price it. Very hard. Um, it could be worth anything up to 100 quid, But I've really got to work hard at cleaning that up. So, oh God, the price could be all over the show. 50 to 100 let's say that. Now, I've got some Heelys. I don't think they're worth loads. She wanted a fiver. They are brand new with tags. Um, I ended up picking them up for four pound. So, oh, I don't know. I'm thinking 15 to 20. I thought they might be worth a bit more, but I'm thinking 15 to 20. I'm not good on shoes. So if you know better than me, just let me know on those. Now, I did a deal, you might have seen it on camera, I did a deal for these music books. Um, £5 for eight, I think it was £1 each, or we ended up with £5, I just said I'll take the lot, how much? So, real variety of prices, I know that these music books can be worth good money. So, at a pound each, it's not a big risk. Um, so, I've got cold, a Coldplay one there, um, i got... Guns and Roses, this turns out to be a good one. Guns and Roses Anthology. Led Zeppelin. Uh, this one, Slide Guitar and Open Tunings. Another Coldplay one. What an album that is. Great album. Um, dire Straits. Uh, Thin Lizzy. And uh, great songs of the 20th century. Um, now, prices, quite difficult um, to give you an exact price on some of these, but anything, some of these are only five or six pounds, but some are 20 plus. I think, I think, first look tells me that the Guns N' Roses is a good one. Um, and even that one may even be a good one. But I think, you know, five to 20 pound each. So it's quite a broad range, but at five pound for all eight, there's good money to be made there. So the final thing to show you is this PS1 bundle. There's nothing amazing here. There's nothing amazing, but I paid 20 pound for it. And there is a PS1, the original PS1, two dual shock controllers, all the leads and 14 games. Um, so I paid £20 for that, like, why are you 25 we settled on 20 So I'll try and show you quickly what games there are, even though there's nothing, there's nothing really major here that's worth amazing money, but it's just the sheer quantity of what's here makes it worth sort of £20, I think. Um, so there's Wild Nine, Harry Potter, Two games in one, two Disney games in one. Uh, that's probably the standout, you know, item other than the console. So that's probably worth about £10-ish. Um, FIFA 98. Simpsons Wrestling. That's just a demo. Track and Field. Probably need to do a bit of a clean-up job on these. Micro Machines V3. Racing Adventure, is it Racing Adventure? Yeah. Tocker. Italian Job. Jet Racer. Let me know what you think of this bundle because I'm not always picking up games. I'm not always looking for games. Lilo and Stitch or Lilo and Stitch, whatever you want to say. Breakout. Colin McRae. FIFA 99, World's Scariest Police Chases, Soul Blade, and Ridge Racer. 
Um, so yeah, £20 a lot. Let me know what you think. There's nothing amazing there. I'm aware that there's nothing amazing. Um, but the PlayStation, um, possibly around the £30, £30, £35 mark. Uh, and then the games are only sort of £5 games. So I'll probably bundle them up. Do a couple of bundles. You know I like a bundle. Uh, and that that is it. So I think it was a pretty successful boot sale. I spent £87. There's a fair bit of profit there. I don't know how much potential profit there is. I haven't added it up. But that's it for today. Um, thanks for joining us. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already, please go and sub. Uh, it means a lot. Um, come and join our journey. Come and see us on a live show as well. Every Monday night at 8pm, almost without fail, you can join us on our live show. It's growing and growing and growing. It's getting bigger. So yeah, come and watch that. Come and join in. Interact with us live. We'll see you again soon. Laters. Bye.